Welcome to tonight's game between the Houston Cougars and the North Carolina Tar Heels. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. We have a couple of true point guards winning their team tonight, and they're running a show. This will be a treat for any basketball fan. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup at the shooting guard position. All ten players are set, and now for the tip. As we tip into the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby. On the outside. He can't get any more open than that. In and out with Ooh. tough luck. The land. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Up and in. For two. Up and in. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. The two on one was perfect as he finished scrolling going to the basket. Franklin receives the ball. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. And a momentary look from three-point land. It would be nice if he could get some assistance with a good look. He misses from long distance. For the bucket, the land. This land. Great execution. That's all offensive efficiency at its best. Gave it up. Black. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. Up and in. Check it out here. A nominee for our Pontiac game changing for. Wonder who's going to be the first one to throw the punch. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent, as usual, providing that extra bit of insight. Looks to record his first minutes. He provides a nice push offensively and defensively for this bunch. Makes the shot. Got a move. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon. NBN. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This Rips the ball. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Perkin receives the pass. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player. Nice fake. For two. The lane. For the bucket. Up and in. For two. Opportunity for two for one. The land. He gets him to commit the charge. He took one for the. The point guard gets the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. At the end of the first half, the Tar Heels are up by four. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Converse All-Star. They started out on the basketball court, but now they're everywhere. They're everywhere.
Rogers All-Stars. Look for them everywhere. Official athletic shoe of the 1984 Olympic Games. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. I'll tell you, really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. That's a good-looking bucket out of the transition, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Jordan receives the ball. Up and in. Bucket. Perfectly executed. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard dip. In the paint. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. Number 22 gets the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Goes up for two. Way off target. He's whistled for charging. You gotta look for your teammate. Kicks it out. The fake. Perkin receives the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Young handles the feed. Cross court. The Tar Heels pushing the ball in transition. That's a basket off the break, baby. Ten seconds to put up a shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the ziggy element. Fakes it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Picks off the lazy pass. They get it out into transition. They come away with a basket off the break. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Gave it up. He drains it. Wide, wide open. Knocks it down. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. Oh, yes. Well, Dick, it looks like... And yet another foul. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Traps in place, Dick. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the pick now. Hey, the two-man game is great to watch when you have an intelligent dribbler and a skilled big man. We get another look at it in the lane. Shot clock is dead. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. Lays it in. For two. And he can't hit the shot. What are your 
final thoughts regarding some of our points of emphasis earlier in the game, Dick? I look at these points of emphasis and actually grade a team based on whether they accomplished any of them or not. Based on my experience, teams who can't achieve most of these keys will have a good performance simply because they're playing their style and within themselves. Folks, it's all about controlling the tempo. If your team is playing their style of play, usually good things are going to happen. Dick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. Yeah, they really are. you got to play as a unit. It's all about the team. That's what gets you to the winner's circle. North Carolina walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. And let's take a look at our players of the game. Hey, Brad, when you play well and lead your team to a victory, it's a terrific feeling.